I'm so surprised you were in the army, Leo. I just can't picture you shining your shoes. <laughs> can't really picture you finding your shoes. Yeah, well, I fought for my country and I have the scars to prove it. Hey, me too. Look at that. Guadalcanal, 1942. I took some shrapnel, spent a month in the hospital. That's how I met Bob Hope. Oh. Bastard made me laugh, even though I had two busted ribs. <laughs> Dumbass comedian. Check this out. I don't see anything. Yeah, it's more of an emotional scar. <laughs> Leo, I don't understand how you could go from decorated war hero to hippie degenerate. Well, it all started the day I got back to the States. My buddy and I were saying goodbye. What are you going to do now that the war's over, Leonard? First, I'm going back home to work at my dad's pharmacy for a bit, and then it's off to medical school. <laughs> so long, pal. And then these jazz musicians pulled up in a car. Hey, soldier. You need a ride? No, it smells kind of funny in there. <laughs> Don't worry, kid. You'll get used to it. And that's the last thing I remember until you poured me this cup of coffee. <laughs>